Alexander Skarsgård wasn't the most fit guy around until he landed the starring role in 2016's Tarzan. Over eight months, he followed a grueling diet and training plan that got him into amazing shape for the movie, but once filming for Tarzan wrapped, he fell off the fitness wagon completely because of how restrictive the Tarzan workout and diet plan was. But Alexander Skarsgård is back and looking bigger than ever in his leading role in The Northman. For this role, he needed to not only pack on a solid amount of muscle, but he also needed to be able to move like a powerful Viking warrior. So what did his training and diet look like to get him into fighting shape for the role? Well, I'm Paris Demers, a full-time personal trainer and online coach, and I'll be telling you everything you need to know about Alexander Skarsgård's training for The Northman, and then at the end of the video, I'll be sharing with you a full workout program based off his style of training, so you can become a powerful Viking warrior just like him. So for those of you who don't know, Alexander Skarsgård is a Swedish actor. Born in Stockholm, he began acting at the age of 7, but quit at 13. But years later, while in the US, he tried out for a small role in the now legendary comedy Zoolander, and he got it. And then about 5 minutes into the movie, uh, with about 30 seconds of screen time under his belt, he died in a horrible uh, gas station explosion. But while he might have died early on in the movie, appearing in Zoolander was the birth of his successful international acting career. Alexander went on to do many roles in TV and on the big screen, but the first role that really required him to get into insanely good shape was that of Tarzan in 2016. He didn't look too bad going into the training for this role, but he definitely needed to pack on some size if he was going to be able to be the king of the jungle. Luckily, he wasn't going at it alone. He had the help of Magnus Lujback, a highly experienced and well-educated celebrity trainer. Magnus has trained other celebrities like Gal Gadot, Ben Affleck, and even Harry Styles over the years. They had eight months to get Alexander Skarsgård ripped for Tarzan, so they put him through a big bulk where he was eating up to 6,000 calories a day, and then they did a long and super restrictive cut. This routine really worked to get him an amazing physique, but because it was so intense, he completely fell off the train after the movie wrapped, as he was so burnt out from following the insane diet for so long. This is a great example of why you should never follow this kind of insane crash diet as a normal person. You might get shredded in the short term, but you'll end up burning out and damaging your metabolism, which is not a good long-term recipe for success. If you guys want me to do a full video covering everything about Alexander Skarsgård's training for Tarzan, comment King of the Jungle down below so I know that you're interested. So for the Northmen, Alexander Skarsgård is playing a rough, intimidating Viking who's on a journey for revenge. To have his physique fit the role, he needed to bulk up even more than he did for Tarzan. Alexander and Magnus set out to have him gain 20 pounds for the role. Sounds simple enough, right? But they needed him to gain the size without him losing his ability to move and fight like a warrior. Here's a quote from his trainer Magnus. We wanted Alex to have a little thicker look, a little more Viking. We needed him to look like a bear but move like a wolf. So they didn't need him to be as shredded as he was in Tarzan, but they still needed him to be able to move like a warrior without getting injured on set. So Magnus started training Alexander for about three months before shooting was due to start in March 2020. But when the pandemic hit, the movie was put on hold. Alexander then had to maintain his physique as best he could without a gym for a few months before Magnus was able to train him again from June to the end of August. But honestly, this turned out to be a blessing in disguise because they wouldn't have been able to put on the amount of size that they wanted to put onto Alexander's frame in only three short months. So before we get into what the training looked like, let's talk about his nutrition. As we all know, getting into great shape is about 30% working out and 70% diet, but luckily for him, Alexander's trainer, Magnus, doesn't just know his way around the gym, but he's also a nutritionist. A nutritionist with a very unique approach to dieting. Magnus encourages people to use a system called 1720 that involves no calorie tracking, no forbidden foods, and no extreme restrictions. 1720 works in a four day cycle of five meals a day, three of them being full meals and two of them being snacks. With this system, the idea is that every 17 out of 20 meals should be on point and the other three can be whatever you want to eat at the time. For Magnus, on point means that those meals will be made up of a good protein source, good fats, and slow carbs and vegetables. Slow carbs are complex carbs such as oats, rice, whole wheat bread, and potatoes. And those other three meals are just there so you can enjoy life. Magnus says it means you can have pasta, you can go out with your friends, and you can enjoy a dessert or a glass of wine. On top of this, with the 1720 system, Magnus encourages you to use hand portion tracking instead of conventional calorie tracking. I actually really like this system for people who want to get fit and stay fit in the long term. It's designed to help you balance achieving your fitness goals with leading an enjoyable life. This is much better than the all or nothing approach many take where they completely cut out every food they enjoy and only eat chicken, broccoli, and rice, which is not a good long term strategy for normal people to get 
get into and stay into great shape for their whole lives because it's not sustainable. You can't do it for the next 40 years. Now, while this isn't the exact diet system that he uses with all his celebrity clients, I still wanted to highlight it here because I think it's a great diet model for you guys to give a try. So for the Northman, Alexander did track his calories and focused on eating a high protein diet, but was allowed the same kind of balance that comes with the 1720 diet, where he could enjoy a nice meal out with some wine on the weekends. So his Northman diet was nowhere near as strict as his Tarzan diet, where he had to give up alcohol, gluten, and dairy for eight months. Magnus had Alexander in a slight calorie surplus for most of their training together before running a short calorie deficit in the months before shooting just to get the body fat down to where they wanted it. So how did they use all this fuel? Well, Alexander was training five to six days a week to bulk up and become the powerful Viking we see in the Northmen. Magnus said they wanted to build Alexander a powerful physique. So because of that, Alexander's training was slightly different than a lot of celebrity fitness routines that we see. Magnus structured each of Alexander's workouts to have a strength component to build muscle and strength and a high intensity interval training component to keep Alexander athletic and able to move like a warrior. This mix of strength work and HIIT is a great way of getting ripped while remaining functional. Just look at CrossFitters, they're a great example. They look great, but they can also perform at a very high level. But Alexander's trainer, Magnus, had to make sure that his recovery was on point because while he doesn't look it, Alexander is 45. So if Alexander arrived at the gym exhausted, Magnus knew he was at risk of hurting himself, so they did lower weight or machine work instead of the heavy compound movements. This was a really smart way of training. Go hard on the days where you feel amazing and go a little lighter on your bad days. So that's how he did it, and here's the program that's going to let you do it as well. It's a four-day week strength and conditioning program designed to help improve your athleticism while helping you get jacked. Now go check out my video on how Robert Pattinson got in shape for the Batman, and I'll see you there.